Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We just got back from the Midwest Gaming Classic 2019, and boy, oh boy, do we got some stories for you. What are we gonna be drinking today? today? we're drinking Rhubarb IPA by Mobcraft Brewery out of Wisconsin. Our new friends over at Hair of the Dogcast gave this to us. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload, and sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's recap the Midwest Gaming Classic. Hey everybody, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, and you're watching Gaming Off The Grid. Remember, everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're just going to say right now, it does not get much better than Midwest Gaming Classic no, 2019. Does. Oh my gosh. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was overwhelming. It went so fast, and we're very new to this, so we've only been to uh, Mo Game Con and this con as a channel. But uh, this thing just took things to a new level. So we started off with a long like six hour drive from Des Moines yeah. all the way to Wisconsin. Had a ton of fun on the drive. Yeah, we, well, we always have fun, you know. It was us two and then Ryan came along, yeah. so it was just a blast and we were having fun and I was actually editing on the way there, you yep. know, because the production never ends. Yeah, yeah. So the first night when we got there, so we got in on Friday and we didn't have the VIP tickets, but we just wanted to kind of explore the city a little bit. Yeah. So we went to the uh, old Paps Blue Ribbon Brewery where it used to be, and it's like a historical village and oh, like, the so landmarks weird. are unreal. It was just incredible seeing how big the brewing factory used to be. Like it was yeah. like, did they- did It was they, like a small city. Yeah, did they live in these buildings and like the, like the signs are there and then we ate at, the, at a restaurant that was there and they had like paps on tap so it was yeah. like of course we have to drink that yeah absolutely and it was very uh historical feeling and, and the buildings maybe aren't in the best condition these days but the uh architecture was just uh unreal it was so yeah. cool so i'm so glad we were able to experience that had a lot of fun but from there we just wanted to experience the arcade scene uh in the city of milwaukee so we went to 1983 barcade yes and it was actually somewhat close to where we had dinner at yep. so we walked there 1983 was cool but we weren't like over overly wowed. So we went to the Up Down, which the reason we didn't go there first is we have an Up Down, the original one here in Des Moines, Iowa. So we were like, you know, we kind of know what that's all about. But boy, were we wrong. The oh, yeah. uh, Milwaukee version of that, you guys are so lucky up there if anybody from Milwaukee is watching it because it is one of the best barcades that we have ever been in. Oh, it, it was amazing. incredible. It's so much better than ours. I mean, I love ours. I go there all the time, but it was just awesome. They had so many machines. It was a lot bigger. There was a lot more space and the Wisconsin beer on tap. It was, it was incredible. Yeah, and if you're an 80s or 90s kid, the aesthetic of these places is unreal. Oh, um, the, you know, from the American Gladiators on, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, WWF Wrestling, you know, and the game selection is just on point. So it's a it's a ton of fun. And uh, that building was built stem to stern to be how they wanted it to be. We actually met up with one of our good friends, Dan, who we met at Mo GameCon last yeah. year. And it was so sweet because we were just hanging out at the bar talking. And then all of a sudden, Dan walks up and we're like, what the heck yeah. are you doing here? And, and we haven't seen him for a while and he's got these awesome mutton shops that have grown in and uh, yeah, we just had a good time. It's it's weird that, you know, we, we've chatted online and in live stream stuff like that. I haven't seen him for a year and as soon as we saw him, it was just like picked up right where yeah, we left it was off. Like, okay, know? dude, let's start playing some games and drinking some beer. Yeah, it, was, it was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, played some NBA Jam, stuff like that. So we had a great time with that. Uh, but believe it or not, we actually have a professional side and uh, every night of this, we actually got to bed really early because we wanted to get up and be one of the first vehicles in the parking lot yes. um, down at the con because we had plans to tailgate every morning. So we went back to the hotel room, uh, played a little bit of games um, and, and kind of wound down for the night. But uh, then we were up bright and early to tailgate right out in front of the venue. Yes, that's called tradition, and we're gonna do it every time, no matter what. So we had the classic two with some multi-cards and we yep. were playing it, and people actually came out and joined us. Dan came out, back in the day, gamer Tony yep. made an appearance, and he actually drank some vodka, and it was like nine in the morning, oh, he yeah. was just, it was a yeah. big party. Yeah, Tony is a hammer. Like it took us, like this is the first time, we already knew we liked him, but we met him, and like after we had met him for like, I'm gonna say about five seconds, we're like, yep, this is our type of dude. <laughs> yeah. So it was a lot of fun. Hanging out with him and Dan that morning and uh, just just being stupid just having a lot of fun uh, just really good people uh, both those guys are and so then we roll into the huge epic Midwest gaming classic we walk in and it's just like ah, oh, ah, I didn't even like, know yeah I was just like because there's it's two different floors and I was like I was just sensory overload yeah, where and do you I did go? not know where yeah, do you go I don't know where to go we got to meet one of our favorite wrestlers of all time. We're both into wrestling and the art of it. And 
the one of the best heels who has ever lived. He's oh, a million yeah. dollar man. He's, a, he's iconic, dude. Yeah. And so we got to meet him. We got to talk to him. So down to earth. And a lot of people were taking pictures with him. And we were like, hey, instead of a picture, we have this small YouTube channel uh, that nobody really cares about. But uh, could you shoot like a promo for us? And he's like, absolutely. Like, it just no hesitation. And he just instantly went into like his wrestling yep. promo character. Yeah, it was awesome. And oh my gosh. I was so giddy afterwards, oh. and I kept watching it over, and I was like, dude, we have, this yeah. is ours. And you you literally was like, dude, we, we can go home right now. And yeah, we, were, we were an hour into the con, <laughs> and we were ready to go home. Like, I was just content. I'm like, I'm still on cloud nine thinking about it. Like, yeah. it was incredible. It's just unbelievable. Just to, just, I can't even put it into words. Um, but we are so grateful, and uh, that was just one of the coolest things that's happened to our channel so far. But then we spent the rest of the morning just kind of navigating both rooms, uh, main rooms. There was the uh, vendor hall, and then like the, uh, I don't know, historical hall, really? The historical kind of hall slash gaming. Yeah. Like, that, that's where all like the pinball machines were, yeah. and they had a bunch of systems set up you could play. And it was really cool. And we were walking around, and that Eon company that makes that HDMI GameCube adapter yep, thing, yep. They had a Mario Kart tournament, Double Dash, best Mario Kart game ever. Just gonna say that now. Mm, okay. And so we entered. We're like, yeah, let's let's enter the let's enter the tournament. Let's yeah. have some fun. And guess who got second place? We did. Yep. And you know, not to be a little uh, you know uh, B about things, but uh, we were in first every single last lap, and then we got the blue shell just beat the shit out of us every time. Well, so. here's what's cool: is we were in the top three every race. Yep. And like. At the end, our points, we were only behind first place by like two or three points. Like, we, if we would've got first one more time, we would've taken the victory, but. Yep, so we gotta hold the big trophy. I'm a little a sour, a little sour, but second place, that's still awesome. We'll be back, and if they do it again next year, it's on. And then, uh, I believe next in order, I think we met Eric Bischoff, Yes, right? we did, WCW. Yeah, so that was really, really neat uh, meeting him. Uh, again, very nice individual. Um, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of shade thrown his way for some of the the things that went down with wcw and whatnot but uh yeah he was so, so down to earth very very friendly very humble and uh yeah so we got to meet him so that was really yeah. neat and then we also that same afternoon met ernie hudson oh you ever heard of the ghostbusters yes yeah. now i will tell you the ghostbusters fans are they're, are, just, they're, they're not cases they're psychotic yes yeah, so which is awesome we, we love them it, but it was the longest line like tenfold like oh we were in line for a good hour hour and a half yep but and all the other people we met it was like a 10 minute wait maybe yeah max yep. yeah it was it a was steady just, flow but not super long it lines. was just yeah. insane but ernie hudson was so happy to meet everyone yeah and he spent time with everyone and he chit chatted and that's why the line was so long and plus the fans are crazy so half of them were all dressed up it's ghostbusters yeah it was it's awesome. craziness yeah so then the rest of that day we just really spent a lot of time in the vendor hall we wanted to look for some games and some pickups we didn't really go into this con we never really have went into any con with the um with like a list or like a no because yeah. we're uh we're we're odd collectors uh we've said it before on the channel we are collectors kind of but we really look for games on the cheap and Unless you're gonna buy in bulk and, and try getting a bundled deal, the prices at cons, are not, I'm not gonna say they're overly high, but they are higher than what we typically pay because we are we are garage sale, yeah, yard sale we are, we are very cheap. But we uh, did pick up you know, a fistful of games on the systems that we've mentioned we are liking to collect for right now because of the price. We got some PS2 games, some Xbox 360 games, and a, a Wii game that we're pretty happy that we snagged. But yeah, aside from the pickups, which is, is not the name of our game when we go to these, uh, networking, meeting people. Yes. We met so many cool people. So kind of dovetail that in to the YouTube channel dinner that we had Saturday night at the 42 Ale House. We were first to arrive because first to arrive gets the worm. That's what I always say. <laughs> and so we had a couple beers on tap while we waited, played some Rocket League, which is so much fun because yeah. they had TVs and like PS4s. Yep. And that was just so cool because I've never seen a bar slash restaurant have something like that. Yeah, they had they had like four uh, arcade cabinets set up, but then on the TVs in there, there was a Wii U hooked up and a PS4. And a PS4, so really it was really cool. And Rocket League, that's just a fun game to play Absolutely. while you're drinking beers. Absolutely. But then people started showing up and it was a bunch of people we had met on the internet and seen before, but it was like, wow, it's so nice 
to like finally meet you and like the turnout was a lot bigger than I was expecting. It was incredible. People just kept showing up. It was so much fun. Yeah, and we're, we might miss some channels here, but the Game Grinders were there, Captain Algebra is there, Mega Dan, um, which Captain Algebra and Mega Dan, holy cow, we spent a lot of time with those yeah, guys. Yeah, that was like our that was like our group. Yeah, so down to earth and just just our type of uh, guys. Like that yeah. was a lot of fun. The, uh, I, it just feels like we've hung out with those guys before and we haven't, but no, it was yeah, really anyway. fun. Um, the uh, Game Grinder was there, uh, got to chat with him a little bit, and uh, the uh, and back in the day Gamer was oh, in the house, yeah, Tony, and he's just kind of wandering a little bit, so we got to spend a little bit of time chatting with him, but he's kind of a social dude, so he was just yeah, all over the place. he's a butterfly, and yeah. of course, you know, we were sitting in the corner talking to Mega Dan and Captain Algebra, and of course Tony comes up with this big beer, and he's like, why am I drinking a bigger bi beer than the gaming off the grid guys? And we were like, okay. Shots fired. Yeah, shots fired, okay. <laughs> Can I get four of those, please? And we bought a round for everyone, yeah. and, and we had the, the big pitchers of beer, and it was it was yeah one of the it was just a party. Yes, one of the highlights of well, there were two things that'll always stand out to me about this. Mega Dan twenty nine and our friend Ryan had a Stone Cold Steve Austin sound off. Oh, it was incredible! It was unbelievable. We're sitting here at the forty two Ale House. We're sitting here drinking our Steve Weisers, oh and we're God. having a lot of fun. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Holy fuck! <laughs> that was good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We're drinking one. Steve Weisers. We're drinking them together, aren't we? Because we're friends. Eh, eh. <laughs> the last time I checked, son, I ain't friends with nobody. Matter of fact, I'll stomp a mud hole in each and every member of this whole community's ass and walk it dry and then pour a beer on their carcass as they lay on the ground. And that's all I got to say about that. It was so funny. It was great. Like everyone was watching. Yeah. And then we uh, kind of uh, navigated our waters over and kind of finished off the evening with an NBA Jam battle. The two of us versus Ryan and Mega Dan. Two of the best gamers yeah. teamed up against us. They kicked our butt. Yeah, it was, it was brutal. Mega Dan 29 if you're watching. Still kind of hate you for it, but uh, <laughs> I'll get you one of these years. Um, it might be until uh, like you're in an old folks' home or something, but I'm coming for you. Yeah, so. that's what I'd send to Captain Hunter. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna beat him at Conjure one of these days. Yeah. So, anyways, but uh, it was so much fun. For anybody we missed, we're sorry, but uh, it was great meeting everyone. There was just was not enough time to take everything in that we wanted to take in. But uh, such a good group of people, such an awesome network of people, and uh, we were just so blessed that we were able to spend an evening with you guys um, and have a good time and enjoy some brewskis. So. That was a lot of fun. So then, back to the hotel. For some sleepy time. We get some sleepy time. Again, it wasn't too late. We were very dialed in. And uh, a lot of people were probably like, oh, these guys were up till 3 or 4 in the morning. No. But yeah, that's just not, you know, we, we were there for a mission and we, we took care of business. So we rolled in again to tailgate in the cold. And this, oh, it, it wasn't was, snowing yet, but it did snow it later in the day. It was even colder Sunday morning. Yeah. It's 33 degrees here on the final day of MGC in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I'll be damned if that's gonna stop me from tailgating, drinking beer, and whooping Super C's ass with Captain Algebra. Oh, hell yeah! John and Captain Algebra came out. Yep. And they brought beer with them, and Captain Algebra gave us beer, and we gave them some Iowa beer, and it's super sweet. If you guys haven't checked out any of the channels that we've mentioned, uh, you gotta do so. So we'll put links to every single channel that we met in the comment section below. But so much fun uh, during that tailgate. But then it was time to go inside for our last day at the Midwest Gaming Classic. And this time, we were a little more dialed in. Yeah, we were really confident. We knew exactly where everything was at, yep. for the most part. I mean, we were still like, wow, this is huge and kind of scary. But, you know, we went in and we played some games. They have every console that's ever imagined, like the PSX. Yeah. And it was like, you could play it and it was so cool. Yeah, so we were a little more um, into just taking in everything and we spent a lot of time in the vendor hall. And before you know it, there is a stylized fight between J the guy that plays Johnny Cage and the guy that plays Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah, and they were doing like on a stage and like a presentation and we were like, what's going on over there? But more importantly, I was like, who is that announcing? Yeah. Uh, who is that ringing in my ear? Who's that childhood voice that we all know and love? Yeah. That's the guy from NBA Jam. Yeah. I didn't even know he was gonna be there. And I was like, dude, that's that's him. And then like he came out from the curtain and we literally followed him to his booth. We got to meet him and we're really into Mutant Football League. We've talked about it a ton on the channel. Oh, it's such a sweet game. So we started talking about that NBA Jam, just how he was kind of the voice of our childhood, things like that. And before you know it, I popped the question. Hey, do you want to film a promo for our YouTube channel? Welcome to Gaming Off The Grid, Boom Shakalaka. 
Oh. So freaking cool. It's unreal, too, how he can just be talking and just kicking into NBA Jam mode at the drop of a dime. So Boom shakalaka! Yeah, it, I wish I could do it. It's but. unreal. It's so awesome. So that was uh, weird because we, we didn't really know he was going to be there. And uh, honestly, after we met him, we were like, this is unbelievable. Like, like we're it's just, just yeah. home run after home yep. run after home run. And I was like, holy crap, how can this get any better? And then we met the guys from Mortal Kombat. Yep. Johnny Cage, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Smoke, I think Reptile, Master, Master, Daniel Pacina. It was so awesome to meet him and have him put on those shades. And we got to chat with him about a lot of things. Oh, that, he was uh, telling us the whole history of Mortal Kombat, how like they had this crazy idea and how they were filming it and doing like the moves and he had to do the move like 10 times in a row and then modify and do that 10 times in a row. And then yeah. they realized they weren't taped down so they had to do it all over again. And it was just so fascinating hearing the history coming from one of the original guys. Yeah, it was really, really cool. And then the gentleman that played Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 2, Philip On. So that was really cool. We got to meet him as well. A very soft spoken gentleman, but so polite. And uh, it was just really cool. It was like video game history just being taught. Um, the the uh, behind the scenes stuff. It yeah, was really cool. It was just so freaking sweet. I did not expect to get all this. Like it was, it was so freaking cool. And we were walking around and we were kind of planning on leaving early, you know, because yep. the storm was coming. We had a six hour drive. We had to work the next day. And then all of a sudden, I don't know how we didn't see it before, but I look over and I'm like, dude, there's a bunch of guys standing at a booth drinking beer. That sounds, that sounds like us. Yeah. So we walk over and it's a podcast and they're like, hey, do you want to be on the podcast? And we're like, what? <laughs> Absolutely we do. We don't know what's going to come of it, but we filmed a full 30 minute shot yeah, with them. It's so freaking cool. We tried some some local beer that they yep. had in their cooler. We gave them some Iowa beer. Man, they were like our types of dudes. And then we just talked wrestling afterwards for a long time. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. We connected with those guys right away. Um, and it's just one of those things, you walk by and you see some dudes drinking beer, it's like tractor beam, sucks you right in. Yeah, beer, yeah, beer, so, beer. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty awesome. So that was a really cool experience. And then after that, we had to hit the road. So the long drive began back home. And we were just left talking the whole time about what an amazing time it was oh, at the it Midwest was Gaming Classic. Incredible. Speaking of incredible, I think we should talk about this beer. Yeah, so we got this beer. It's a mob craft beer, which is out of Wisconsin. It was given to us by the Hair of the Dog cast gentleman. This is a rhubarb IPA. So if you are into rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb pie, things like that, I know there's no strawberry here, but the rhubarb flavor, uh, this is a very unique IPA. It's a very earthy IPA. Yeah, it's, it, you can really taste that rhubarb and that like, I don't want to say dirt flavor, no, but that, it's that like, earthy. It's, it's kind of rootsy, earthy, yeah, I feel like. It's, yeah. like. it's really good, but there's not much like attackiness on hop wise, no, no. which is really good. It's a nice, easy drinker. It's a good full flavored IPA. Um, the reason I'm liking it is because I've never had an IPA like this. No, it's me very neither. unique. It's very unique. Um, and I, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest rhubarb fan, but I can taste it in here and it's pretty well balanced. It's not overpowered. Um, I think this is a pretty easy drinking IPA. Yeah, it is. It's very um, simple. But this is a this is a really good beer. I'm glad that they uh, sent this home with us. So. Yeah, so am I. We drank a couple Mob Crafts while we did the podcast, and now we're drinking this one. And everything I've had from them has been really good. Yeah. So I'm really excited to go back up next year and yep. try some more Mob Craft. Or who knows, maybe they'll send us some in the mail. Yeah, hey, it's illegal. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, we had a great time. First off, just get out and go to game conventions, first and foremost. But more importantly, Midwest Gaming Classic. If you're within striking distance, you will not be upset. you got to get to Midwest Gaming Classic 2020. We had a ton of fun. We will be going back for sure. We hope to cross paths again with all the awesome folks that we met. We got a lot of new subscribers to the channel, which is awesome. Yes, so and thank you all sweet. so much for... for uh, following us and uh, not being annoyed when we were like, hey, check out our channel, hand out the business card. Oh, yeah, trying to grow. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, it was just so much fun. You know the drill. We always appreciate just tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. What, 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 what? Oh, so that's out of order? Because there's no chair? Shoot, fire. My car don't have no chair in it, don't have no backrest. I just bungee a milk crate to the floor. And yeah, I get pulled over, but then I just say, no officer, that's the least of your worries. Have a nice day. I want everybody out there <laughs> to know, DTA, you stupid pieces of trash. Don't trust Don't trust, of trash. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust gaming off the grid. Favorite part about these type of places, 
Escalators that have shoe cleaners built in. We're standing out here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're experiencing hard hat winds. It is, it's windier than a $3 bill out here. <laughs> 